9.37 p.m. I'm down in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Today I was hiking in Shenandoah Valley, about three hours away from here. Just woke up, 9.50 p.m. Have a briefing for the project that's starting tomorrow in the Atlantic Ocean. We'll be embarking on said Atlantic Ocean project at, I believe, 4 a.m. So, you know, just not much time in between now and then. I'm all double COVID tested up. I'm gonna go to this meeting, go to sleep. I will see you in five hours. For this project, the Naval Academy Athletics Association hired me to create a behind the scenes video that explains why they chose the uniform that they did, which will be worn in the Army Navy game this year. How late did you guys stay up last night? And then went right, right to bed? Yeah. Not much sleep. And the idea is there's no better place to unveil this uniform than on an actual aircraft carrier. That's really nice. I love it, Molly. That looks sick. That's why I got the top of your room numbers. Yeah. Okay. I say that we're just gonna go. I think we can at least get there, start loading up their van, and then Great. hit the road. Great. Okay. At our room, this is my bunkmate, Brian. Hey. Now we have like an hour, I think. Hour and a half until breakfast, and then we'll see what we'll see what the day brings. All right, how's everybody doing? <laughs> <laughs> airplane got delayed so we're gonna go in and then we're gonna come back out and get it whenever it lands it's delayed for like an hour but uh being out here in the sea and the wind and all of this is just like absolutely incredible to me So these planes are launching literally right over top of us. Our room must be right underneath where these planes are launching from because you can hear everything. Like, you see it on the screen, but then you hear it happening. I 
had the volume or the mic input at 14, I had to turn it down to five. <laughs> Yesterday was awesome and crazy. It was about 18 and a half hours of just movement. Got a bunch of cool shots. Last night slept like a baby, even though they were launching airplanes until 1 a.m. I don't remember any of that. After I fell asleep, I just was completely asleep the entire time because I was exhausted. 6.30 a.m. now, our escort's about to come, and we're gonna go get some sunrise shots on the deck. Anything else, Brian? Is there anything else? There Don't anything? look at me. <laughs> How'd you sleep? Um, it was cold. Cold. Uh, it was yeah, no it was noisy. <laughs> uh, but besides that, I, I But you did sleep? I slept. Well. Good. Good. This is this is perfect. This is exactly what we wanted because the sun will probably come up over there. All right. Morning sunrise shoot. We got everything we wanted. Luckily, it was a, all a matter of luck and it turned out. I'm gonna get a little tighter. Very fun morning. Steam, F-18s, uniform, fantastic. Testing, testing, testing.
pretty insane that like we're getting stuff that I've just never seen before and will likely never see again. This is just kind of something I'll probably never get to do again, be on an aircraft carrier and it's happening and we're just like out shooting it and it's just a really interesting thing that keeps looping in my mind. Really grateful for the opportunity. Really grateful that JQ DM'd me like a year ago. I was like, hey, I know you don't know me, but would you want to come and shoot this thing with me? <laughs> YouTube is awesome. All in all, we ended up spending two nights on the ship. What you're about to see here is us flying off of the ship. The first day that we got our staterooms, we actually saw a video of what is about to happen to us. That's zero to 130 miles per hour in three seconds. 